over the years, Forex trading software has evolved from simple charts and Forex robots all the way to fully automated trading applications that make it easy for anybody to enter the market. Now, many of the advancements can be broken down into the following categories, trading platforms, automated trading systems, and Forex trading signals. So let's break down each section and then wrap up with the attributes that you may want to consider when determining the best software for yourself. Well, platforms for Forex traders. Quite simply, these are just the charts where price is plotted. In some instances, you can enter and exit trades right from the chart. Now, trading charts, the software can go from basic price and time plots to a whole range of information such as the news releases, market profile, pattern recognition tools, market depth, watch list, portfolio managers. You know, the features available depend on a few variables. However, keep in mind that the more features can mean a higher price for the software. Now, many people, especially beginners in trading, would probably want the following features in the trading platforms that they are considering. Various technical indicators. Since many begin their trading education by learning about technical analysis, Indicators such as moving averages, oscillators, and, and trend tools may be useful to you. Now, most platforms, including the free MetaTrader, it's available. It comes with a vast array of tools that may make up your particular trading system. On chart information. Now, I find this incredibly useful because knowing at a glance where price is in relation to your stops or targets, it makes trade management extremely simple. Some charting software will allow you, with a click of the mouse on the chart itself, enter and exit a trade. You can also easily adjust your stops if you're trailing or adjust your take profit targets simply by pulling a horizontal line up and down your chart. Now the free Forex charting software, well, it's alluring, does have drawbacks. The data feed usually comes direct from your broker, and that's not really an arm length third party. As well, software such as MetaTrader, usually has a wider spread value so in reality it's really not free now downloading your trading software is not the only option you can also get live charts online and one popular type is in the Dania charts these are not as sophisticated as some of the paid download platforms but for simple trading style they may be all you need automated trading software this method of trading comes with a little controversy many large firms use automated trading systems to enter and exit their positions Keep in mind, though, that these companies have millions of dollars that they use for the design of their software. They recruit the best minds from the best schools to help give them the edge. Now, the Forex robots attempted to capitalize on the success of automation. However, in the end, they've simply shown themselves to be a waste of money, a waste of time, and really a quick end to trading accounts. Now, the controversy doesn't end with robots. High-frequency trading software otherwise known as HFT, has caused many issues with the markets, prompting the SEC to begin an investigation. Now, exchanges are being looked at for potentially giving HFT traders an advantage over other traders in relation to the buy-sell orders. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, as there is some automated software that's designed by those who have a profitable trading system. They just simply have chosen to automate their work and allow a program to execute when the trading variables line up. The Forex Auto Trade program from Netpix, it's an example of this type of software. It utilizes a profitable trading system and allows a hands-off approach for traders that simply want to reap the benefits of trading, but in a hands-off manner. There are some really important benefits to automated trading strategies, and they can affect the positive or the minus state of your Forex account. Eliminate emotional mistakes. If you've traded for a while, you may have noticed the urge to do some things outside of your trade plan. These usually occur either after a losing trade or trades, or even after a string of winners where you feel invincible. Once the variables line up, the trades executed and managed without your intervention when using automation. The trades allow it to play out to its conclusion, and the win-loss becomes a random distribution of the method, and not from your deviation of the trading plan. It keeps you consistent. Without allowing your judgment to come into play, each trade is executed exactly as outlined in the trade plan. You allow the expectancy of your system to play out, and if it's positive, you know that in the long run, your software will serve up a healthy trading account for you. It allows multiple opportunities. When your software is unleashed on many different currency pairs, you're going to be hard-pressed to miss a trading opportunity. 
Since Forex basically trades around the clock, you can be assured that your software is just waiting for opportunities regardless of the time of day. There's a drawback, however, and that is being overexposed in the market. Trading software usually has a limit on the amount of capital exposure, but if yours does not, expect to find yourself in too many positions and in many cases being long and short and just compounding losses. Now, Forex trading signals. Now, this type of software, it's different from the automated strategy. These provide you with signals for entry and exit levels and you are responsible in the execution of them. This trading software allows you to trade currencies using a combination of variables and a trade plan. And now here are the general steps in like a swing and day trading software once you've downloaded it from the vendor. You unpack the various indicators and templates, you install those items in the folders that are appropriate for your software, and you apply the template to the chart. The key to this type of software is to ensure that you back test the plan according to the trade plan that accompanies the system. Now the benefits of the back test include you test your knowledge of the system, you prove to yourself that the system actually gives you an edge and you train yourself to execute the system when appropriate according to the trade plan. Now, if you're new to this type of software, you can actually see the benefits of that by downloading the free version of NetPick's own Trend Jumper. Just download it, install it, and backtest the system. So how do you start trading with software? Every trader is unique and some things will suit you while for another it may not be appropriate. There's nothing better than trial and error and that is often the best way to learn. It'd be prudent for you to download any software you're considering and just put it through your own style of testing. There are a few points that you really should investigate during the testing phase. Is the support attentive? There's nothing worse than trying to work through something yet not have the support to help you over the humps. If support is non-existent right now, don't expect them to be there when you have real money on the line. Okay, just be a stickler for proper support. What's the refund policy? Now, to be fair, there are many low quality companies out there selling low quality products. Ensure that there's a refund policy and make sure you read the fine print to make sure you fulfill the requirements. Now that said, be a quality individual who doesn't simply refund to get the software for free. Okay, if you're requesting the refund in good faith and there's no response, charge back through your credit card company. Does the product fit the hype? You know, Forex is one of the most hyped markets and many vendors will promote their software with outlandish claims. Make sure that what they promise, they deliver. While results may differ, they should not be so far off the mark if you follow the instructions they laid out. Robots, for example, were hyped to be an ATM, but most, if not all of them, failed to deliver. So remember, if it's too good to be true, it probably is.